All right, next up in the JavaScript interview series, we're going to be talking about return values from assignments as well as the comma operator and what effect that has on expressions. So the question is, what is the value of n, this variable right here? What's that going to be after this line executes? Okay, uh, you want your own copy of this? You can find the link to the code down in the description. Grab a copy of that and think about what you think the answer is going to be. And I'll be back in just a second to talk about the solution. Okay, welcome back. So, a couple of things. First of all is understanding what the return value is from an assignment. So let's say I have a variable here. Um, we're going to say a equals 7. Okay, if I log this out, so we'll say console.log a equals 7. Alright, I'll save that and I'm going to uh, my beautify plug in here, it's uh, just going to automatically put the parentheses around here. This will run the exact same with or without those parentheses. It's just good form to do it. Okay, so running this line, we can see 7 is going to be what we actually get back from this. So the value that is being assigned, that's the return value from this. Okay, simple enough. Now, that means if there is a return value, I can do things like this. I can create an if statement where I have an assignment. So we'll just put a message in here so we can see which one comes up. All right, we'll run it again. Seven. So it's true. And that's because for any numeric value, anything that is non-zero for a number is going to be considered a truthy value. Zero is falsy. Everything else is truthy. And that means if we change this to be zero, we're actually working with a falsy value here. We get the not seven. Just a little side note here. Now, the second part of this, the comma separator. What does, or not the comma separator, but rather the comma operator. What does that do? What effect does the comma operator have on this? Well, when you are putting together a series of things like this, separating them with commas, and this is how the for loop works as well, the commas inside the for loop, if you're using multiple assignments at the beginning or at the end. If I put another variable in here, so b is 1 and c is 3. So there we go. I have three values separated by commas. We run this code. 7. We're getting 7. Why is that? Well, with the comma separator, what you have is a whole bunch of expressions that are being executed. And this final one, whatever is last in the chain, Comes in, coming after the last comma, that is going to be the return value. So we get 3 as the return value. Therefore, we're getting this thing here, the true, whatever that first half of the if statement is. Okay, so that's it. With the comma operator, if you have a series of expressions, the final one in that sequence is going to be the return value from that. So if we console log back to the original question. If we console log out n, what we're going to get is 3. So it is that final value. That is what's actually being assigned to the variable n. Alright, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.